What's up everybody? This is Eric the Tech Preacher from Easy Computer Solutions. I want to talk about this controversy with updates, software updates with cell phones. You know, a lot of people on different types of spectrum saying that, hey, software updates is good. And some people saying software updates is bad. And some people saying that software updates is a must. Let me go ahead and explain my thoughts about software updates on cell phones. Sit back and relax and get your popcorn ready and follow me on this journey. Let's go. What's up guys, this is Eric back with another video. So cell phone updates, cell phone updates. Do you base your purchase decision on the cell phone update? Do you hold the company feet to the fire if they don't give you cell phone updates? Is it good to get cell phone updates or is it bad? Do you like the device that you have right now and don't worry about cell phone updates? Is it good or bad to get cell phone updates? It's a huge controversy. Let's go and talk about some of the pros. If you got a device that's having issues, bugginess, app crashes, and stuff like that, you wait and anticipate on cell phone updates to fix those issues. That's what is really, really important. When you have issues with your device, sometimes you get the, the camera crash. Sometimes the cameras need to be tweaked. Sometimes the device is running pretty buggy, pretty slow, and you're waiting on a cell phone update to fix those issues. Sometimes when you watch these keynote addresses as techies, you hear them walk across the stage and they talk about, they guarantee you two years worth of software updates. They guarantee you to fix any issue that they come across. So we wait and anticipate on those updates to fix these issues that these phones have. Another pro, when a new phone come out and it has some unique features, they always give you a cell phone update on your older generation device to get those same features that that newer device have. Give you a point of example. The Galaxy S20 has camera pro mode. Guess what? The Galaxy S10s, the Galaxy Note 10, and all that stuff does not. But we wait and anticipate on a software update to get those features. Another pro with software updates is, come on, let's think about this. You'd have paid over $1,000 for that phone. It's no way in my mind I would not want a software update. I would not want the company to continue to give me enhancements to speed up my device, to make my apps run faster, to give me my security patches and everything in between. After paying about a thousand dollars for a phone, listen, I demand that. I demand companies give me software updates when I'm paying over one thousand dollars for that device. So that is a pro when it comes down to software updates. You get enhancements, you get bug fixes, you get new features that the newer device that bought to the table that will trickle down to the older device. And plus, you didn't pay so much for that phone, of course you want software updates. Uh, listen, that's without a question about it that yes, you do want a software update. Absolutely. Let me give you another example. The Galaxy S8 came out, right? And Bixby wasn't working. They told you that a software update will fix Bixby. Now for months, we sit up there with a Galaxy device that pressed a button and nothing happened. What if you didn't get a software update? Th that means that what they promised walking across the stage about Bixby and everything in between, you would have never got it. So we waited for a software update to fix the Bixby button. Now look, here's the thing. I don't use Bixby, but it's not the point. The point is that they touted that they was gonna give you a software update to fix this issue, and we waited for the software update to fix this issue. How many times have you bought devices, and we say, dog, his phone is buggy. It's not running right. It's, it's something going on. The camera app is crashing and everything in between. And you read online, especially us techies, we read online and say, okay, there's an up and coming software update to fix that. Okay, that, those are updates that we need. Those are updates that we, that we want. Think about if the company say, you know what, y'all don't want updates, we'll never update this device again. So if you get a phone that got Android 9.0 and you'd have paid over $1,000 for it, we done with you. Give me my money and go about your business. If you got app crashes, deal with it. If you got slow buggy speeds and whatever, deal with it. If your cameras are bad, deal with it. So that don't sound that good, 
But when a lot of people come to me and say, well, software updates is no big deal. Why are we even fussing about software updates? And that's the reason why. It's because we need those software updates to fix the device. And look, here's the thing. The device shouldn't even come out with these type of issues. So we should hold them accountable just for that. But since device do come out with these issues, we got to wait for software updates to fix those issues. And the data pro with getting software updates. Look, I got the LG V60, one of my favorite phones. I mean, one of my favorite phones, but it needs some software updates. I mean, it really needs some software updates to, to fix desktop mode. I mean, look, desktop mode on this device is not that great. So I'm anticipating on the software update to fix desktop mode. I'm anticipating on the software update for the LG V60 to fix some of the quirks, uh, some of the issues, uh, maybe fix some of the camera issues uh, with the device, right? A lot of people say, with well, auto mode on the V60 is a little soft. Well, software update could fix that. So yes, I am waiting on software updates for my LG V60 to fix those issues. So when it comes down to it, software updates is good right is it good let's talk about some of the cons with software updates sometimes you get a software update and it takes stuff away remember going from uh, galaxy note 9 for one operating system and then they give you a software update and it took away stuff right they took away stuff uh, with devices like pro mode and uh, they take away some of the enhancements they take away some of your features they take away some of the other stuff right and you think about wait a minute this software update just took away a lot of stuff that I loved on my device and a lot of people say hey can I go back to the er earlier model of updates so that's a kind when you get these devices that they take away stuff also a kind we get software updates is sometimes they screw up the operating system. Let's be honest. Sometimes you get a software update and it makes the device run worse than what it was when you first got it. That's, That's a right. huge That's issue true. with these companies that sent you out software updates. Sometimes you get more app crashes, more bad stuff that's happening to your device before the update. So sometimes the update is not good. Sometimes you just don't want that update. Sometimes you say, you know what, hold on. Take take a little more time before you give me that software update. Look, that that to me is a huge issue with some of these companies, right? They'll give you an update to fix one thing, but they'll break another thing. And I understand some people pain that you know they anticipate on software updates and they get it and it breaks stuff. It makes some things unusable. Sometimes you'll get a software update and your beloved app stop working and you're like, oh my God, and it's something that you use all the time, but that software update just broke that app. Go way back years ago, OnePlus had people on stage talk about how good the cameras are. Me and got these professional photographers on stage, professional videographers on stage, talk about how good the cameras are. We get the device in hand, the cameras were not even close to what they talked about, not even close to what they said on stage. But they tell you you have to wait for a software update to fix that. Let's go all over, let's talk about Apple for a second. Remember, Deep Fusion, the big controversy with Deep Fusion, right? The phone came out, you had to wait months, months and months and months to get Deep Fusion. Right? They talk about how good it was on stage and everything, and you sitting up there waiting on that for months to get it. It wasn't that great. So it's a good and bad thing with software updates. I mean, look, I, I, I just want to give you my thoughts about it. I may be wrong about this stuff about software updates. Look, me personally, me personally, with all these phones that I have in my arsenal, I demand software updates. Without a doubt. When I'm spending full retail costs on a device, or even if I buy it used, it don't even matter. I'm still kicking out money for that phone, right? This stuff ain't cheap. Over $1,000 for a phone, or even close to $1,000. It don't matter if the phone costs 30 cents. It's still money spent out of your pocket. It don't matter if you pay to play, got to get two, three, four jobs to pay for a phone. It don't matter if you get it on financing. It don't matter. I will hold these people accountable. That's why I have this platform. This is one of the reasons why I got my YouTube channel, because the tech preacher will hold them accountable. I will call them out for what they are. People don't like me for it, but I will continue to fight the fight. I ain't gonna let these companies skate around, talk about, oh, 
we're gonna give you a software update we're gonna promise you two years software updates and all of a sudden they break stuff they take away stuff or they don't even give you software updates or they don't give you security patches we gonna hold them accountable on this youtube channel this is eric from easy computer solutions leave your comments down below let me know what you think do you like software updates do you agree with me or you disagree with me it's all good do you like your software updates or you just say, you know what, easy, you tripping. I, the phone came out of the box. It is what it is. I don't care about updates. I don't care about security patches. I don't care about if, I, if, if, if the new phone come out. I don't want those features that the new phone come out. If I want the new phone, I'll just go buy the new phone. Let me know down in the comments. Are you cool with spending $1,000 for a phone with no software updates? Are you cool with spending a lot of money on devices? And these companies tell you one thing and do something different? Or are you cool with them taking away features when they do give you a software update and sometimes they break some of the stuff that they do when they give you an update? Let me know down in the comments below. This is Eric. See you guys on the next video. Peace.